Let us stand together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. And with your spirit. We pause now to ask God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, and free us from every danger, so that we may rejoice in your peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word. Be persistent whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but following their own desires and insatiable curiosity will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and will be delivered to myths. But you be self-possessed in all circumstances, put up with hardship, perform the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well, I have finished the race, and I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, with your glory day by day. Cast me not off in my old age, as my strength falls, forsake me not. I will sing of your salvation. But I will always hope and praise you ever more and more. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day, your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. I will trust of the mighty works of the Lord. O God, I will tell of all your singular justice. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and till the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. So will I give you thanks with music on the lyre, for your faithfulness, O oh my God. I will sing your praises with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. I will sing of your salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and, as a pretext, recite lengthy prayers.
they will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, and she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Paul gives his young protege, Timothy, a warning in his day and age that he must persevere in preaching the truth because the time will come when people will wander away from true doctrine. They will no longer seek out or hold on to the truth, but they will believe in myths and fallacies. Now, this is something that happened in the time of the early church, but it has happened throughout all of history, as it happens in our own day. The thing is that it happens and it is experienced and it is proffered in many different ways. In our day and age, modern technology Social media has become a great blessing in many ways, able to put the mass up for everyone who was at home during these three months of COVID-19 to be able to participate in mass and in the rosary and in benediction and many other things. Social media technology has helped us to do good. But like anything, in our lives, it can be used for good or evil. And those who wish to commit evil, to obfuscate the truth, to deceive, to mislead, also use media. And the problem with us is, as Christians, we have to be, as Paul says to Timothy, circumspect and self-possessed in all circumstances, so that we monitor what it is we hear, what it is that appears, and we check. A lot of work. Too much work, we might say. Why should I have to do that? Because all of us are to be seekers of the truth. I know that sometimes on there, there are so many snake oil persons who are selling snake oil. Oh, all you have to do, once you look at one of them, you get 40. If I get one more thing about how to replace my hair, I don't know what I'm going to do. But the truth is that most of these things are deception. I even bought two things online. And they never came because they did not exist and neither did that company. But somebody over there, who knows where, in some foreign country got my money and I'll never get it back. We may lose some money, that's not much of a problem. But if we lose the truth, if we lose our grip on what is right, what is good, what is holy, then we are lost, spiritually lost. So let us use all the things that our technology and our advancement in our society give to us for good and let us check them for what is evil, for what is deceptive, for what are lies. Let us stand to pray. God is good in all things and leads us to the truth. Let us lift before him all of our prayers. that the church may receive <clears throat> the favor of the Lord <clears throat> and protection against the idols and false gods of our world. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all nations may prosper under the benefit, beneficent hand of God and be blessed with peaceful resolutions to conflict, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may bless all men and women from our community serving in the armed forces and return them safely to their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are poor, sick, imprisoned, or lonely may be delivered from their burdens through the healing wounds of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And that all the faithful departed, especially Betty and Frank Pacheco, may soon sit at the banquet of the Lord in his kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions we now hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear us and answer our prayers, which we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. <clears throat> Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, these offerings of conciliation and praise, humbly asking that following the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may present our very selves as a holy sacrifice pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things for us and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid Mary, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the hosts of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Francis our Bishop, and all the women and men who serve the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy especially Betsy and Frank, who are remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Joining one heart and one voice, we pray together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, peace, Mary. Peace, Lord. Peace, Lord. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, 
and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass ascended, go with the peace and joy of the